Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. So in our previous video, we already seen what is a Google Compute Engine. We also created a first Compute Engine or first VM instance in Google Cloud. So once we created the instance, we tried to SSH into the instance and we successfully logged in into the VM instance. So here we created a Linux base that is Debian virtual machine. Now in this video, we are trying to create a Windows server or Windows virtual machine and we'll let's see how we can RDP into the instance. So first we'll create our VM instance with a Windows image and then we'll try to access that Windows image using the RDP. So let me go to the Google Cloud Console and let's create our first Windows instance here. So now I am into my Google Cloud Console homepage. So from here I can navigate to a compute engine or you can directly search in a compute engine here okay so here if you go you can see the compute engine here as well in popular searches so i am into my overview page so let me go to the vm instance and let me see if we have any available vm instances here so currently you can see there are no instances available so i'll just go to create instance and i'll try to create my first windows vm instance here so i'll just give the name as uh, win demo here that is for windows so region zone i'll keep a default machine type also i'll keep the default because this is having the lowest cost so i'll keep this default then the important part is the os so here we don't need the debian or linux image here so i'll go and change and select a windows server okay so if i select the operating system windows server it will give me a multiple options here so you have to choose one with the desktop experience okay then only you will see a uh, ui version here so i will go with the server with a desktop experience so that is a uh, 2025 okay so i'll just go here i will select the balance persistent is now here you can see for windows the minimum size is 50 if you go for debian minimum size is 10 because windows need additional or uh, large size for the OS distribution okay so I'll go with the Windows server again okay that is with the desktop experience ballast persistent is with 50 GB this is the minimum you can see it. the minimum is 50 I'll just select now you can see the Windows is selected here so sometime it will ask you to enable billing but even if you are using the free trial it will not charge you okay so it will use the free trial only but it, it will ask you to enable the billing so you can see for windows there is additional cost for the image so i'll just go again and in networking so i'll not change anything in the networking i'll keep the default network okay and rest of the things i'll keep default and i'll go and create my vm instance now it will take more time compared to to a linux instance so I'll just pause this video for a couple of minutes and once we see our instance is up and running then I'll just resume this video. Okay now our VM instance is up and running you can see the status is running green here it is in US Central 1 it is having internal IP it is also having external IP so if it is having external IP we can remotely log in provided it is having a firewall port open on RDP port so that is 3389 so let's verify if we have a firewall open so I'll just open a default network in the new tab because it is using the default network so we need firewall open in a default network so I'll just verify if we have firewall open on port 3389 let's go to firewall so for Linux we use a port 22 for SSH that is the default SSH port so let's see here for RDP okay so 3389 is allowed okay so traffic you can see it's allowed from everywhere so we will not face any issue for firewall so it will allow to log in with this instance from the RDP so let me open the RDP here so you can use RDP service in your Windows system and here you can put the external IP now one important stuff here what should be the username so to get username you have to select this arrow beside RDP okay and set Windows password so that is the important step now you can see this Windows 
username so don't need to change this just click on set I'll just copy this okay and I'll just use here okay, this is same anyway I'll just remove and add okay I'll minimize and I'll set my password so you have to copy that password immediately because it will not show again and next time you have to just create password again so this is my password I'll just copy I'll just copy this and for now I'll just paste it here okay and now I'll go here and get the IP address okay so I'll just close it I'll get the external IP so you have to get the external IP okay go to RDP add external IP here okay and now go and connect so if the firewall port is open it will directly ask for the password okay it is asking for the password so I have password saved here I'll copy paste here and I'll click okay. it will give certificate it means it is working and it will configure my session into the Windows Server now you can see it logged in into my remote desktop you can see the IP here 17.255 17.255 let me see so it will take some time for Windows okay now you can see we are into the server let's validate the few things here so you can see win demo is our name okay which we kept here for creating our instance also just minimize this okay and let's check the size of the disk so we created the disk with the 50 GB size so let's validate you can see it is 49.8 that is the 50 GB boot disk you are having here so this is what we have created our first Windows Server now let me try to show by deleting the firewall so what I will do I will just go here and instead of allow I will just edit the firewall and just let me close this session just close this session okay and I'll just instead of allow I'll just deny this firewall okay so I cannot change this allow action so what I will do is get I'll just uh, remove or change the port so I'll just do 22 again here just kind of mistake I'm doing and I'm not opening on 3389 okay so now there is no open port or open firewall for 3389 and let me try to log in again okay so I'll just open RDP I just want to show you an error what error you will get if you do not have a firewall open so this is 17.255 now it will not go to password prompt as well before password it will show an error so let me try to connect we do not have any firewall on 3389 port now Okay, right, see it's taking time so earlier it was quick so it is just trying to find connection and it errored out you can see a remote desktop can't connect to a remote computer for one or more reason access to server is not enabled computer is turned off remote computer is not available so it can be any reason but we have issue with the firewall so let me just update the firewall again I'll just update back okay and let's save once it is saved I'll just log in again okay so once it is updated okay it is updated now let me try to connect again and it should ask for the password now now you can see it immediately asked for the password I can just give this password and I can log in again so this is all about firewall on Windows 3389 so a lot of users face this issue while connecting to their Windows virtual machine from the RDP so now again we are into our virtual machine so hope we understood now how to create a Windows server and RDP into that 
instance now here we are doing it using external IP we'll have more videos where we'll use a internal IP and we'll see how we can log in into a Windows server without a external IP so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in a further video